Okay, let's jump into Marvin Mims. What'd you find out yesterday, Todd? Um, that he is one of the fastest men in football, apparently. Yeah. Um, he we talked about getting him shots and making sure he has the ball in his hands. Um, and if you get the stats, I know you have them about his speed. Um, that is a fast man. I think he was not only the fifth fastest player in the NFL on Sunday, but then he also was the second fastest player in the NFL <laughs> on Sunday. So he was moving one on the kick return. Um, I think he got up to 20 miles an hour. Yep. And then on a long um, touchdown, it was like 22 miles an hour yep. almost. And uh, if you've ever read it on, ran on a treadmill or tried to reach 22 miles an hour, that is moving. Uh, that boy has some wheels. Do treadmills even go 22 miles an hour? No, I don't I don't think so. Maybe ones at so. the Broncos, like special ones, but not ones at just the normal gym. No, they have like those woodways where you have to like self-propel it yeah, and you yeah, kind of yeah. can gauge your uh, own speed. Um, I was I got some good speed, but I don't think I ever hit, hit 22. <laughs> no, that is, that <laughs> is wild. And uh, I think this brings up such a good point. I'm so happy that you found this because... We talk about Marvin Mins being a deep threat. He's obviously fast, um, but I don't think we've ever talked about Marvin Mims being one of the fastest players mm -hmm. in the NFL. Um, like fastest guy on the team, sure, but we I don't think anyone in Denver's really talked about him being the Tyree Kill, the Jalen Waddle type of speed that we're going to see. And last week he proved that he is that consistently, too. Uh -huh. He was the second fastest player in the NFL, and then I think the fifth fastest, too. And three of his four touches went over twenty. He went over twenty miles an hour, yeah. which is wild. In fact, um, he's only the third player to do so in one half since twenty eighteen. Wow! That he get he hit twenty miles an hour three different times in one half. So not only is he fast, but he can sustain it yeah. throughout a game, and he can do it a mile high, which is just so impressive. Uh, yeah, and like you said, he topped out at almost twenty two miles an hour. It just when I see this, I just have to see more Marvin Mims this week, especially when you're going up against Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. Yeah, oh, he uh, real quick. Uh, Tyreek Hill's top speed is 23.22. Mm. That's the highest he's ever been, has ever been clocked. Jalen uh, Waddle has been clocked at 21.44. 21.44, and that's on a football field. That's on a football field. 21.44. <laughs> What what Marvin Mims did just his second week in the NFL twenty one thirty eight. Mm. So I mean he is right there on yeah. Jalen Waddle. He's moving, and the thing about it is, there's so many different types of runners. I think Tyree Hill, his legs are so short and quick that it looks like he's moving. Marvin Mims is just fast, but he doesn't look blazing fast. Yeah, and you don't understand unless you're on the field yeah. or you see the stats, and you're like, oh, that's why nobody can stick with him. Like he's right. literally out there moving. Um, and he just has a deceptive way of running to where you see it as 22 miles an hour, but he's definitely out there moving. I think over time, um, he'll probably get faster as he plays in the NFL. Man. Um, I definitely could see him, you know, pushing that Tyreek Hill number because coming out and sus like you said, sustaining it, I think hitting over 20 miles an hour just one time, like that's a feat in itself, but being able to do it over and over again, that shows that you are legitimately fast all the time. And so let's just let's continue to strike deep with him. And then that's also going to open up some underneath stuff for Cortland Sutton for Jerry Judy and just help the passing game a lot, especially if you can send him on five go routes exactly. every single half. Now, yeah. that might be a little too much, but if you can send him on five go routes, you don't have to throw it to him every single exactly. time. But it keeps that defense at least a little bit honest, especially if they want to take the approach of dinking and dunking their way down the field. Just have a threat of some deep thing there because in week one, they didn't even, I know, I know I've mentioned it a lot of times, but they only threw one deep ball in mm -hmm. week one, but it's not like they had guys going deep left and right. They just, they just didn't. So keep that defense honest there. Um, and is there something to some guys play faster with pads on mm -hmm. and some guys play slower when they put the pads on? Yes. Game speed. I think that's a real thing. I think some guys are slower or faster, stronger or weaker. Like it's definitely mm -hmm. a different thing. Um, you know, when you step on that fall, I mean, we've all seen guys that can bitch 500 pounds in the gym and then go out on the field and they're just getting tossed around. Yeah, like yeah. it's just uh -huh. a different game and a different atmosphere. Once you step on that football field. Um, so he definitely has game speed. I'm not sure what he ran in his 40 coming out of college, but that right there is what you call game speed. Yeah. Yeah. Here, would you look at his 40? Because again, like I knew it was fast, but 
I don't think it was in the four twos uh-huh. where the Jalen Waddles, Tyree kills. Like when you think of the fastest players in the NFL, that's why I think this is just something that is so important that's being overlooked right now. Uh, his forty was a uh, four point thirty eight. Yeah, I mean that's that's that, again, average. That's, no, that's that's uh, fast. I don't know if that's average. Yeah, that, <laughs> I mean that, for that, wide that's, receivers, that's kind of what I feel like. Not the top speed though. Like there's guys that like just blow it out the. There's like, guys that yeah. are faster than that, but the, I feel like the four three. Anything in the four threes is fast. <laughs> okay, They're, I'm comparing them to professional athletes. I'm running a six two, a ten, a ten, ten. I'm not even running close to a four.